Oh, <laughs> so much stuff is happening. I haven't made a video like this all year where I just sat here and talked with you guys. I've missed you guys. How have you been? Stacy? what you been up to? I'm really excited to check out this new Pac-Man game. While I'm downloading it, we're going to look at the eShop because apparently there's a huge sale going on right now. And then on top of everything else I'm talking about, Zelda. I know. I'm supposed to be the Zeldies guy, but I haven't talked about Zelda 35th at all. And neither is Nintendo. Nintendo, to be fair. If you could like the video, do it. And if you're new here, subscribe. You know, it's, all right, let's, uh, let's go to the eShop, shall we? First up, boom, bam, free download. After we've played Pac-Man, I want to show you guys the Pac-Man guy. We got, what, like 80%? Oh, that's $6? I don't know what AER is, but that's 90% off. You know what? Oh, it looks good. It's got, like, the same art style as Ashen. Transform into a bird and fly. Hey, you sold me at Transform. Dead by Daylight's half price. Mortal Kombat, 70% off. Don't Starve, 75% off. Wait. <gasps> it's a switch has night vision. <laughs> you take off the Joy-Con and use the... Oh, we have to get this. Oh, Ghost Runner. I just reviewed that in my eShop video. That's a good game. I would say that's worth getting for $7.50. There is a ton here. You could spend $10 on the eShop right now and get five really great games. Whoa! Okay, all right. I've been waiting for this to go on sale. In fact, if this means all the Deponios are on sale, I am loving this right now. The Deponio is legit one of my favorite point and clicks of all time. If they're all on sale, this is legit gonna make me very happy. Please, please, please. Yeah! I'm legit stoked about this. I, I know what I'm playing tonight. Look at that! Oh my god, I just got so many games. I got night vision. Five things for 10 bucks. You can't beat that. All right, I'm gonna try Pac-Man for the first time. I think this is a fantastic idea. I also want to say, my friend Ant Dude predicted this in 2019. But in 2019, he said that Pac-Man 99 will happen. And dude, if you could tell us when Zelda 35th is actually gonna happen, <laughs> that would be... I'd really appreciate that. I've never played this before. Leave me alone if I suck. I didn't like Mario 35 very much. I played it a little bit, but I'm excited to see what this is like. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, okay. So there's like a twist where these little ghosts on the side, they build like a train and then you can get them all and send the ghosts everywhere. When you eat a ghost, you send these weird little Pac-Man ghosts to the other players. And if you hit them or they hit them, it slows you down. So you want to try and build up all of these ghosts and then you want to go and get all the ghosts and send a ton. Why are they chasing me? They shouldn't be allowed to- Ah! I mean, halfway for the first try isn't bad. I'll try again, though. <laughs> just, gonna, just gonna eat them all. Just gonna eat them all. And then I'm gonna clear this lower left side. Do I win if I clear the screen? Do I get anything for clearing the screen? Ah! These extra Pac-Man ghosts really confuse my brain here. <laughs> yes. 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 See, how are you supposed to see the actual ghosts when there's all of these fake ones? Yes. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I hate these games, man. Where did I come that time? I did so much better that time. 46! Play Deponia. <laughs> but hey, what do you do to keep yourself looking your best? There's nothing like a nice, smooth shave from your face to your legs. But seriously, I'm actually really excited to be working with Harry's because they support organizations that provide mental health care for those that need it, from men, veterans, LGBTQ plus youths, by giving 1% of their global sales to nonprofit organizations, which is incredible. I, I got nothing to... Just awesome. Thank you for doing that, Harry's. Harry's is a personal care brand that delivers a close, comfortable shave at a fair price, as low as $2 for a refill. I have tried other shaving brands in the past, but Harry's sharp German engineered blades, high quality weighted handle, rich textured and scented foaming shave gel. It, it just can't be beat, especially not for the low price of just $3. When you redeem your trial set at harrys.com forward slash beat em ups. You'll get the five blade razor, travel cover, and their foaming gel, as well as helping to support mental hoard Horf? Kim, stop laughing at me. Health, mental health. <laughs> Thank you, Harry's, for sponsoring the video. Click that link below or go to harrys.com forward slash beat em ups. 
You just should. All right, on with the video. I said I was gonna show you guys the Pac-Man guy though. I bet the Pac-Man guy is so happy about Pac-Man 99. This guy, this dude. Pac-Man just gives me this feeling of giddiness. Like there's all these tingles running up and down my nipples. <laughs> Like, you can love Pac-Man, that's fine. But maybe stay away from tingly nipples when you explain how you feel about Pac-Man. Like, that's how it gets to the next level. Look what you've done. <laughs> I need that as a clip for something. Look what you've done. Pac-Man! 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 What does that do? It's so good. What video am I even making right now? While talking about news, <laughs> gaming news. <laughs> Sorry, I'm like stuck on the Pac-Man guy. Borderlands 3 has been rated for Switch, which means it's most likely coming to Switch. I like always mentioning this and bringing light to when a another developer brings their current AAA game to the platform, because I personally just really appreciate the fact that they did it, that they're supporting the console and giving people something else to play, and they're not ignoring the Switch. It's here. Games like Borderlands are kind of perfect for the Switch, because you can hide a lot of the ugliness with the cel-shaded visuals. It just kind of works. And the original Borderlands are on the Switch, and they run pretty good. This should too. Before we move on, I want to give a shout out to myself. Over the years, I've had a lot of people ask me to do a podcast, but I find podcasts kind of boring personally. But I did one, but I did it different. <laughs> it's more of a talk show. It's kind of like a radio show. And you guys, the viewers, have been a huge part of what's made it so fun because it's a live show. We've had you guys call in. We've played games with you guys on the show. Imagine the old radio shows that you and your parents used to listen to on the way to work or the way back from work. That's kind of what myself and my friend Eric have tried to recreate, but a more current day twitchy live version of it. It's been an absolute blast. We've done five episodes and each one has had a ton of different laughs. We do it live on Twitch every Tuesday. There's a YouTube channel where you can watch all of the uploads and we also have a website where you can listen to the audio versions on the website or on iTunes or Spotify. It is just like a radio talk show but not on the radio. If you wanted to check it out, I'd appreciate it. Okay! Soda! Soda! I have honestly had so many people come into my Twitch chat or just tweet me or ask me in video comment sections, what are your thoughts on Zelda 35th? What do you think is going to happen? Why hasn't Nintendo talked about it? What's going on? I don't have all the answers. And with Nintendo, it's incredibly hard to predict. I have heard some things. I've heard rumors, rumblings, but I've also just have my own opinion and just looking at Nintendo as a company, what they've done in the past. I have ideas of what they might do, could do, should do, would do. I want them to do, do, do. Let's talk about it. So to start, just in case you're confused here, it is Zelda's 35th anniversary, meaning that the first game released 35 years ago. Actually, it was February and we missed it. The only thing we've really had Zelda related this year so far is Skyward Sword, which they kind of proposed it as like, a, we're still working on Breath of the Wild, but in the meantime, here's Skyward Sword, which Nintendo actually has a history of doing that. They re-release or they port another Zelda to whatever the current system is to kind of tie us over. But... Here's my theory here. Not just a tie-over, but the start of the Zelda 35th anniversary. And it does make a lot of sense to start with Skyward Sword because Skyward Sword is the start of Zelda. Yeah. <laughs> so the fact that we're getting the first Zelda game chronologically releasing on uh, July 16th, I think that would be a good kicking off point to start doing the whole 35th anniversary. And that's when they could announce all of this really cool stuff they're going to do. I would find it really weird if they did one for Mario and then just didn't do one for Zelda. I know Zelda obviously isn't as huge as Mario is, but it's pretty big. Like, it's still, like, I would say Nintendo's second biggest franchise, unless you count Pokemon, then it would probably be its third biggest franchise. You know what I mean. If we did get a big Zelda 35th anniversary, which I expect we will, this is what I think we're going to get, or at least what we could get, what we might get, my theories, and what we will get. Definitely. So we'll start with Skyward Sword. We'll get another like, oh, here it is. Here it's coming. Blah, 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 blah. Cool. Great. Can't wait. If you start looking down that timeline and starting with Skyward Sword, you have games like Minish Cap and Four Swords, but Ocarina is that big first main series release. So I could see Ocarina and Majora's, the 3DS versions, getting a double pack released on Switch as well. Why not throw those together, release them on Switch, because you know they can charge 60 for that. Nintendo doesn't care. And on top of that, I think an obvious one is at the Twilight 
Princess and Wind Waker bundle. Again, I just think it makes perfect sense to bundle those up now because you can't re-release them standalone separately again for 60. I really don't think Nintendo can get away with that again. You could do a four pack, but you're getting a little insane there for Nintendo. I don't know if they'll give four of their games away for 60. I think we were lucky with Mario All-Stars to get three for 60. Another thing I thought about is we had Link Between Worlds on 3DS, which was an amazing game. And why wouldn't they want to bring that over? But what would be cool is if they bundled Link to the Past in with Link Between Worlds and upgraded Link Between Past visuals. How many times? I'm getting confused. To match Link Between Worlds because Link Between Worlds is a sequel to Link to the Past. So they could remaster Link to the Past to be the same visual style as Link Between Worlds and release that as a double pack. I don't think that would even be that crazy because you had Mario 3D World release with Bowser's Fury, which was like a whole extra game add-on. Why couldn't they re-release Link Between Worlds with an extra game add-on of Link to the Past, but just reskinned the visuals? That would be another really cool double pack. I'm really down for double packs when it comes to these re-releases, because you get more for your money, of course, but it just seems like a lot to keep releasing standalone Zelda games from the past for 60 bucks when you could just squeeze two on there and make 60 bucks that way. Then I start thinking about the unlikely Zelda games that we might see come to the Switch, maybe in like a remake or a remaster form, because we had Link's Awakening, which I don't think anyone really expected that to get a remake or a remaster, and then it just appeared one day, and they could take that same visual style, use the assets they've already put together, because it looked great, and do that treatment for another one of those random Zelda games that no one really talks about anymore, but was still a ton of fun. Games like Minish Cap or Four Swords. Four Swords could work great on the Switch. It would work better on Switch, but it worked back on the Game Boy Advance and GameCube, because you just get four Switches. Boom, bam, you're done. And my personal favorite would be the Oracle games, Oracle of Ages and seasons. I think it would be incredible if they redid both of those games and then released them both. I know you're going to hate me, but you could release them both remakes for 60 bucks. I would love to see that. They could also just merge them together and make one, which is probably a smarter idea from the consumer standpoint, but I kind of like getting two releases because it's cool. The only other thing I think could absolutely blow everyone away, I think it's just too much for Nintendo. I don't think Nintendo would ever do this ever because with Nintendo, it kind of is perfect the way it is and there's not really a reason to touch it. You can keep re-releasing Ocarina of Time the way it is with like slight visual upgrades and make it HD and it's perfect the way it is. There's no need to redo it. But imagine if they did. And I think that would be just a huge one that people would go crazy for. It's just not something Nintendo would do. A full video visual remake, remaster, rebuild of Ocarina of Time. And I think that would really like break the internet level of insane insanity. I don't think that's something Nintendo is into. I don't think they like touching their older games. It's gotta happen at some point, right? Like one day, one day they're gonna remake. Someone's gonna remake these games, aren't they? Why not now? As far as other cool things we could get for the 35th anniversary, it doesn't just stop at games. Although there is another game, Zelda 30, 35. You know, why not? It seems like Nintendo are just doing this. This is a thing now that they're doing for games. Like Pac-Man, we just played 99. They did Tetris. They did Mario for Mario 35. Just like in Mario, how it was select levels that you could race and beat other opponents on. Why not just have select Zelda screens and the first person to kill a certain amount of enemies or the first person to clear a certain amount of screens or find a certain item or maybe even beat the game. I don't know because the game's only like an hour long if you power through it. I could easily see a Zelda 35th happening. I'd be surprised if they don't honestly. Okay, I am fully into this now. I am on a rant, but Lego Zelda. <laughs> I had this idea when I was building the Mario Zelda. If you haven't built one, you build the TV, you build the NES. Those two things are like separate from the actual inserts. And I think this was done cleverly on purpose. All you gotta do is take the top off the TV and that whole screen game part of it just gets yanked right out. So what if they release a full nother set with the TV, the console, whatever, but Zelda themed. They'd probably have to do like Zelda 2, right? Because it was side scrolling, but it could work, then they could also sell the Zelda insert and NES cart separately as a cheaper box. So if you already have the Mario one, you can just buy the add-on Zelda one and then it's like you have both games and you can put it in your TV. I think that's just big brain. That's big brain. There's no reason not to do that. That's big brain. <laughs> Nintendo, Lego, are you listening? Make money off me. This one's a no-brainer and an easy money maker. <sighs> it would be so dumb. If Nintendo make this a, a little standalone console game and watch for Mario and then do a Zelda 35th and then don't do one for Zelda. Just remake the Zelda game and watch and start a little series of this because people will drop 50 bucks each to have them all. You know they will. You can start re-releasing these. That's easy money. Nintendo.
Nintendo loves easy money. <laughs> Just going by that Mario 35th anniversary, I'd expect to see some cool crossover content. Like Mario had Animal Crossing DLC. You could easily do Zelda Animal Crossing DLC. We just had Monster Hunter release. Would be pretty cool to get maybe the Master Sword in Monster Hunter. Maybe it could replace the Long Sword or something like that. That's just easy collaborations, right? And you never know where that stuff could pop up. Like Nintendo loved just scattering Easter eggs and Zelda stuff in other games. And you could easily do DLC for a game like Monster Hunter or any game. In the Mario one, we also saw merch like clothes and shoes. I could easily see there being Zelda shoes. And then there's just a ton of things that we can't even guess. Like Mario got the Bowser's Fury add-on, like a whole extra get, like no one saw that coming. They could do something like that, like, or something completely different that I can't even imagine. I wouldn't have imagined Mario Kart Circuit. Where did that come from? I don't know what they could do a Zelda Kart Circuit, but something like that off the wall that comes with a toy or an accessory, just something crazy. And then Finally, I think just the perfect end cap that makes so much sense from a business standpoint is at the end of this huge event where they're showing off all this cool stuff that's coming, all these merch ideas and toys and, and games and new releases. Drop that first ever Breath of the Wild trailer reveal gameplay whatever that first one where we finally get to see the game even if it's for like 10 seconds it's just such a perfect idea because you know people are just so desperate to see something of that game to hear something about that game they're all gonna go to that direct just to see that one thing right at the end and then you've trapped them in and now they're gonna see all this other stuff you're trying to sell they're gonna see all of that they're gonna see the the clothes the shoes the game and watches the games you're re-releasing they're gonna get hyped by the new Breath of the Wild. They're going to see it's maybe a year or two away and they're going to want to pre-order all of these games. Like it's perfect marketing. Oh, man. Everyone's going to want to watch this direct just to see that end, just to see Breath of the Wild. And then you've got everything else there just waiting for them to throw money at. And it also makes sense that they didn't mention any of this or 35th back in February, because why wouldn't you want to wait until that Breath of the Wild reveal is ready? So you can throw all this into the same thing. And imagine, imagine Nintendo Switch Zelda themed pro super switch console <laughs> announced alongside everything else or even just a Zelda themed console there's so much that could happen and I'm really excited for all of it mm, I, I I don't like predicting things or getting excited for stuff like this because you know if it doesn't happen then I look silly if it does happen then well, I guess it just makes me look great, really. <laughs> but what do you think? What do you? What did I miss? What do you think we would get for some kind of like weird Zelda thing? What did you think of the Pac-Man guy? We're doing it. I'm back. I'm here now. I'm here now. More than one video a week, please, Woodison. Where have you been? You're dropping the ball. I know I am. But I'm back, and I love you all, and I'll see you in the next one.